Okay. I'm turning the floor over to Matt Marsden. I have no idea what he's going to say. It's because what you said before about feminists, because what is, what is really frustrating to me is that you have women like you that are having to step into certain breaches. Like we talk about this all the time about a drag queen story hour. You, there's nobody else there to help you. Mm -hmm. You go off and do it because of the lack of men as yeah. well that are standing up, that are willing to go out there and do it. Yeah. So anyone that's criticizing Sarah, get off your ass and go do it. Please. Right? Please, Please do. I don't want to go anymore. Please. <laughs> I hate it there. It's scary. And I'm little and petite and there are very large men there and they do not look mentally well. Please. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. I appreciate that. Um, okay. So I want to share this. This is a crazy story. Um, an ex-Biden White House appointee and current Democrat candidate for a county commissioner seat in Texas, here in Texas, allegedly created a dummy social media account to post bogus bogus racist comments about himself this is Taral Patel that <laughs> they do it or they have to make up the hate crimes because they don't exist and they make them up Taral Patel he's 30 and he's running for county commissioner in Fort Bend County precinct 3 just outside of Houston he was just arrested for online impersonation last week after an investigation initiated by his opponent gee i wonder who's going to win <laughs> So he made this lengthy Facebook post in September in which he painted himself and his family as victims of a vicious race-based smear campaign perpetrated by his opponents, supporters. And he had like a bunch of made up messages that he created himself that were calling, he was calling himself, I should say, monkey and subhuman and oh my gosh, people are attacking my Hindu faith. And it turns out that it was him all along. It was just him. And then he got arrested, which is a, a long line of things that play out exactly like this because wh white people are so damn like nice and easy, easy going in this country now that you have to make up the racist ones. I would like Mr. Patel to know that this is MAGA country. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, did you not learn from Jesse? Yeah, I, I've, I, I mean, the, the Democrats. This is their number one card is identity politics, and it does remain the undefeated champion. I mean, apparently, the the greatest sin in America is if uh, someone is known or says something racist. Uh, it's not that. People are getting shot in inner cities. It's not that crime is running rampant. Uh, you you hardly ever hear about stories of these repeat criminals doing committing horribly violent acts in the inner cities. But if someone utters a naughty word that is on the wrong side of the political spectrum, it is a national scandal. And this is the problem with the media, uh, not Blaze, but legacy media, is that they divert attention in such ways that uh, they're not actually focused on, you know, fighting the power or, uh, you know, holding criminals accountable. They are interested in punishing their perceived enemies, which is Red America. Yeah. No. It, it, and to Logan's point, I know he was you were joking, you know, referencing Jesse Smollett by saying this I wasn't is joking. Country. This is MAGA. Well, this is MAGA country. <laughs> damn it. But this guy, like he did try very much to tie all of these racist comments that he made up himself. He's like, oh, they're incited by people like former President Donald Trump and today's extremist Republican <laughs> Party. Like he literally was agreeing with you. This is MAGA country. And it's just like you guys have to make this up. Maybe give, maybe give, I don't know, FBI will call you guys domestic terrorists, but I think you white men are swell. I like you. I think you're great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have a friend who's a Latina. <laughs> I'm clearly not racist. Look, I, I actually think, though, I, I, I slightly disagree with you because I think nobody cares anymore. That's good too. I think mm, yeah, I'm like, that's true. They, they say to me, they're like, oh, it's because, you know, you, 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 I say, say it. Say it. Just say it. I don't care. Because I know I'm not, if you know you're not, it's not the terrifying word that it used to be. Because you're just like, all that means now, I mean, literally, it's like, you are literally Hitler, right? <laughs> so, you know, there's, oh, you're a Nazi. I'm like, okay, right, all right. It doesn't, and what is really sad about that is those words should be reserved for the worst people in the world because it is horrible to, being a racist is the most despicable thing, right? It is. But now it doesn't mean anything anymore. I don't think anyone 
really cares. But like you said, this is all they have now. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, it's the desperation. I'm going to lose. So I know I have brown skin, right? But but look, they're even doing it. They're calling black people, right? Like black people, white supremacists. Yeah. So yeah. it's all I'm a like self -hating, I'm a self-hating white passing Latina <laughs> ah. because I believe in border security. So I am also a white supremacist as well. Of course you are. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're all in this together, boys. Um, by the way, I know we have to go to break here, but I did want to mention this cute little tidbit. Um, so his opponent actually was the one who tipped off the authorities because he recognized one of the names in the this collage of hate messages sent to this guy, uh, Antonio Scallywag, <laughs> as someone who had previously assailed him online. So this guy's using this dummy account to attack his opponent and then write all these racist comments that he's using as, oh, look, th these people hate me. And so the guy was like, wait, this guy came at me. He's not one of my people. Hold on a second. I don't think the name Antonio Scallywag is a real name. <laughs> no. Wait a second. <laughs> so this is a felony. And um, I would say couldn't happen to a more deserving person. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on. You know you do. Click here.